So in this video, we're going to see some examples of working with bitwise operations in C. So I'm going to make an unsigned int, and I'm going to initialize it to 8. And I'm going to print that. It's a hexadecimal. The reason for that is, is I want to be able to figure out what the bit pattern is and printing it as a hexadecimal is a little easier. So we have some bugs somewhere. And that should be print F. Lots of bugs in this one. Okay, hopefully this will work. There we go. Okay, the initial value is num is eight. So now let's perform a left shift. And this is the left shift operator. We'll shift by two bits, which is equivalent to multiplying by two. Or actually, in this case, it would be four. Each time you left shift, it's multiplying by two. So multiplying by two twice is multiplying by four because we're moving that bit over. And you'll notice now we have 20. You may think, why do we have 20? But that's because that's a hexadecimal number. So this hexadecimal number is equivalent to 32. If you can think about what the bit pattern there looks like, 8 would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So then when we shift that two bits over, now we have 0, 0, 1, 0, which is 2, 0, 0, 0, which is the second digit, all zeros. So now let's do a right shift. by four. Actually, let me put the number here. Um, and again, that shift is equivalent to a division by a power of by two to that power. So when we divide 32 by 2 to the 4th, which is 16, we get 2. And then if we left shift by 2 again, we should get back our original value. And we do. Okay. So those are the some bitwise operations. There's also other operators. So the first, we'll do a logical and. Num and 1 is equal to, we'll do it as a hexadecimal. And then we'll do num and 1. That's a logical and. So let's go ahead and do several of these at the same time. So vertical bar is or, and logical or, or ex I'm sorry, exclusive or, is a caret. Let's remember to change these operators where we're actually doing the operation so that it doesn't cause trouble. So when I do this, you can see that if we do and one, we get zero because no bits between eight and one have the same. If we do a logical or with one, that sets the one bit, so does the exclusive or. So now let's do the same thing, 
but instead of one, let's do nine because nine has a different bit pattern pattern. So it, it has the eight bit set and the one bit set. So when we run these, we see that we get an eight back with and nine and eight, because remember num is eight. Um, and the reason for that is, is the eight bit is set for nine, the one bit is set, but for eight it is not. So that gets turned off in our result. So that our result is just going to be eight. If we do a logic, if we do a logical or the eight bit and the, the one bit are both set. And if we do an exclusive or the eight bit is set for nine and eight. So that gets turned off. The one is set for nine, but not eight. And so it gets set in our result. And I'll add a printf here to clean up the output. So that's some examples with some logical operators.